Hey guys, Jake Hill, we've got to another scratch tutorial. One, two, three. Thank you, mate, for uh, this um, video because obviously I don't have cloud as Content Studios is a. Um, what's it called? I don't know why I call it Content in Studios. Uh, my sister pointed out to me that it was actually called. Um, there was a game called it, so I've changed it to Exceeding Studios. Anyway, so I have recently found out. Um, that I'll need a cloud for this project. So in today's project we'll be doing exactly this. Baboosh! Dun, 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 dun. So what this project will allow you to do, I'm just going to give you a quick tutorial of it now. Um, so uh, this is basically what it will look like. Um, so yeah. And yeah. Sorry I did have to hide my password. Um, that's my username if any of you guys wanted to know. Uh, soon I'm going to make it so you can add people. Now, so if we go over to a uh, different scratch, uh, wait there. So if we go over to a different scratch, uh, so just go over to here, go over to online chat, signing on a different account, just show you that I made it. Boom. Right there, la the chat's just loading. Done. So, uh, just to prove that this works, let's just zoom out. So, obviously, I'm on two different accounts Guess 485, and I'm also on admin one. Now, if I click, okay, just show, they both say wow, right? If I would click lol, send, should, oh, I need to send something first. So, you need to send something first just to work. Um, so, yep, yeah, so let's say I've lol that will show on here let's say I send hello that will show on here let's say I press cool it will show on here so yeah it's basically like a so you can chat to each other basically and there's different accounts to it and everything how cool is that so I'm going to be showing you how to make it so I've made a new account so you just want to clear the costumes because you don't want anyone being seen done that so first what you want to do is you want to do this. When Grief have clicked, ask what's your name, say join hi to answer. Uh, so hi and then space and then answer. So say so what's your name, it'll say hi and then uh, what they've typed in, it will do space and then answer. So it doesn't show the space in between, so you have to do hi and then quick space in the, no, after hi. And say hi my name is whatever you want to call this little dude here. Um, and ask have you signed up? So, um, have you signed up? Answer with Y or N. And then you can go if answer equals yes or capital Y. Uh, please insert your username. We'll get to that bit later. Don't worry. If answer equals N or answer equals capital N, say what do you want it to say? Now what you want to do is you want to make a list called usernames. Then you want to hide it. Now what you want to do is you want to make a list called passwords go also hide that okay now so now what you want to do is you want to make like a username for you so let's say I've done this for instance so admin1 uh, jb891 and then you just double click that which will add it to the list then do like another one for like guests so there you go now what you want to do now for the else box you want to say you did not say that correctly now so we'll do generating amount, which will show like three little dots going like dot 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 dot. Uh, for those who don't know what that sort of animation is, and that's how I'm going to do that. And then do username is guest four eight five password is red nine eight seven. So if you say no, uh, it's going to tell you to log in to this account, which will be the guest account. So yeah, if you haven't signed up, you'll it'll, it'll say uh, your username and password, and you're all good. So and then you'll type that in which will leave you to do if equals answer equals y or y um, this is where it gets sort of difficult so once you've asked them please insert your username if username contains answer so that basically means if the answer is like in the username it will take it so uh, if answer equals don't need that so once that's happened so you could go if username contains answer ask please insert your password and wait 
if password contains answer, say loading chat for seven seconds and broadcast message one. So that's that sorted. So just copy that down if you did not get all of that. Okay, done. So now what you're gonna do is make you're gonna make all your words. So obviously, uh, when you do like the hello bit, you could do uh, press me to change the words because obviously they won't know how to do it unless you do it in the thing. So let's just get rid of that because obviously uh, you'll probably do it in your description. Uh, then so you've got hello, you've got bye, you got lol, you got awesome, you got cool, you got wow, and obviously you got hello. So that'll be all your different words. Obviously you can add more, but that's how many I'm doing. Right, so what you're going to do next is you're going to do when I receive message one, because uh, obviously it says, look, uh, so if you, you basically get username and password correct, it'll say, say loading chat for seven seconds and broadcast message one. Um, so yeah, and this is when I receive message one. We're also going to do when we've had clicked hide, because uh, uh, so when you click it's going to hide and when it's completed you're going to say hello just like that because uh, obviously uh, we don't want to be chatting if you haven't signed up yet so obviously you're going to do when the sprite clicked next to costume so you can change between what words you want now you need to make a cloud variable called chat now so make a variable cloud variable and call it chat boom Obviously we don't need to show this, we can just get rid of that. Now what you're going to do is when I receive send, don't worry, we'll get to that. So when I receive send, set chat to 1. So if costume number equals 1, set chat to 1. So obviously costume number equals 1, which will be hello, set chat to 1. So basically that means that chat, if it's 1, it equals hello. Remember to keep, remember that. Now you're going to do if costume equal, number equals 2, set chat to 2. So you get it. So so on, you'll do 1, 2 for each different costume. So I've got 6 costumes, so I'm going to have to do it 6 times. See you in like 6 minutes. Boom! Done! Took quite a while. So what we're going to do now is um, introduce the um, thing that sent send. Obviously, as you probably know, send will be the send button. Already done this because it's simple code. Ray Reef, I clicked hide hide list chat when I receive message one show show list chat when I was, when this sprite clicked broadcast send that's all this needs to do now finally you're gonna make a sprite called list control so I've called this list control because this is what's gonna control the list oh I forgot to tell you right so you make a list also called the chat boom symbol and easy as that I, f I, f I completely forgot about that sorry about that so anyway so when we have clicked delete three of the chat if chat equals one so remember uh, the costume depends on what chat equals so uh, if chat equals one insert hello at one of the chat delete two of the chat now you're basically gonna copy and paste this for a little bit so you're gonna go copy and paste change that to two and then change that to whatever your second costume on that is so that'll be bye so change uh, this is basically the costume for uh, hello um, and change that to so yeah you're gonna change the other one to bye uh, so if this makes sense good and obviously you're going to do this for every costume there. So obviously I've got six costumes, so I have to do it six times. So, yeah. And that is it, basically, to do a cloud chat. And it only takes me ten minutes of recording. So, yeah. Like, legitimately, this is the chat. Obviously you can make it a little bit, bit more complex, and that's what we'll be doing in the next part. Anyway, guys, that's going to be about this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.